Yeah, you guys read it right. I'm gonna show you how to play Call of Duty on an old karaoke machine. I got this thing from the thrift store, even though it's missing a microphone right here. One of the best parts about this is this karaoke machine has a TV screen. It's black and white, and it's too small to see even from right here, but it works. It's got all these flashy adjustment controls, but I actually ruined the speakers because the speakers stopped working and I banged it too many times with my fists, so now it doesn't work at all. But that that's okay. The first thing you're going to need is an HDMI to AV converter. From there, you're going to get the AV cables from that and put it into the back of the AV ports on the back of the karaoke machine. Don't worry, I put all these accessories in the description below. Make sure those are snug. Next, you're going to get your HDMI to USB-C cable and you're going to plug the HDMI in into the HDMI port on the converter, just like that. Super easy stuff. Also, this this can be done with any console, you're just going to need to change the cables around, but for this we're using a smartphone because it's the easiest for me to do. Next you're going to plug the USB-C end into your smartphone and it's going to mirror onto the TV screen. Also sorry for the deafening squealing sound that sounds like a dog whistle. We will now take this moment of silence for all those children such as myself who suffered the dog whistle of CRT screens their entire lives. <sighs> Now, at least with Samsung phones, you're going to use the LCD screen of the cell phone as a mouse pad. You can see the cursor there being controlled, right? Anyways, that's how we're going to control the screen. Now, for the games, we're going to connect my Xbox wireless controller here. Once it's connected to the phone through Bluetooth, you can control the screen just like this. Super easy stuff. Now, the screen is pretty hard to see, but we're going to open the app center here. And here's where I have all the apps. First, we're going to open up my camera to see if I can project my... Okay, this is cool. So this is the camera of my phone projecting onto the karaoke machine screen. I'm taking photos. I wonder if I can open the album from my phone. Oh, <laughs> oh man, this is too cool. I can actually view my photo albums on my karaoke machine. This made my day. Oh, look, I could see all my edited videos stored on my phone too. Nice. Very, very cool. Now I'm moving my phone around to see how it responds because it's like a remote kind of, a remote camera. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, I opened Roblox and Roblox is actually running on this TV as well. Now I know, I know that this is screen mirroring, but it's pretty cool that it works so well for this being an early 2000s karaoke machine. Now I'm playing The Simpsons on Roblox. I'm gonna be honest. I don't play Roblox, it's just everyone asks me to run Roblox on the devices I review, so here you go. I'm running Roblox on an old karaoke machine that was released in the early 2000s. If you ask me, that's pretty freaking sweet. We left that game and decided to browse other games within Roblox, and I found some random, like, survival game. Basically, you're a character that tries to get through this course, and I absolutely suck at it. So we're gonna jump here. Success. Gonna jump here, jump here, jump here. Yes, we don't want to fall in those holes in the ground. Let's jump here. I don't know why I just died. Leaving Roblox and on to the next. So the next application I wanted to run was YouTube itself. How cool is this? It plays YouTube as well. I don't know if you guys have heard of Tech Zone, but they review really cool gadgets. And it's pretty sweet that it runs on this karaoke machine. So next time my wife and I take a road trip, I'll be sure to pack this karaoke machine into my luggage for our next trip. So that's pretty cool as well. Now the next application is what you guys came for, and that's going to be Call of Duty Mobile itself. Now do take note, I have the Xbox wireless controller connected, and we are just starting up the game. If you guys are finding this entertaining up to this point, please stop and like the video, and also consider subscribing, unless you like smelling your own farts. Alright, we've got the Xbox controller connected, and we are about to start our first free-for-all match in multiplayer. Here we go. I know you can't see my controller, but there is not much of a latency issue at all. When I move my controller, it's... Oh wow. Well, that wasn't off to a very good start. 
There's not a latency issue, it's very responsive to the controller, and the TV screen is handling it very well too. So this is really, really cool. Anyways, the only downside, obviously, is that the screen is like four inches across and everything is in black and white. Also, I feel like I'm about to go deaf because of the dog whistle ring that I've been hearing this entire time. So I guess it's not the only downside. There's a, a couple handfuls of downsides, but now you know that it is possible to play Call of Duty on a black and white karaoke screen like this. Now, I am not a pro on Call of Duty at all. I'm like a level 40 on Call of Duty Mobile. My username is Johnzoid on Call of Duty, like it is on every single platform, whether that's Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, you name it, I'm John Zoid everywhere. Unfortunately, I don't really game, so you won't see me online. All right, let's zoom out for a second to get a real perspective of what I'm actually doing here. I'm literally playing Call of Duty on a karaoke machine, guys. This screen was really designed to show lyrics for you to sing along. Now, just because I was curious, I wanted to see if I could run Minecraft. And when I opened Minecraft, it would not allow me to sign in and play Minecraft. I am unsure why, but I will dig deeper, and if I make any progress, I will for sure let you guys know through a YouTube short or maybe a dedicated video to Minecraft. Who knows? After Minecraft, I decided to open Facebook, and you will be relieved to know that it is possible to browse Facebook on a karaoke TV screen, so fear not. Also, I'm on Facebook as Johnzoid. That's my Facebook profile picture. If you guys want to follow me, feel free. I also wanted to know if TikTok could run on a karaoke machine, and you will also be relieved to know that it is possible. And it runs rather well. Honestly, it runs too well. Now I definitely have to bring this on my next road trip or pack it in my luggage. Lucky me. Now, obviously, if I check TikTok, I also needed to check Instagram. And oh my goodness, it also runs Instagram very well. Don't worry, I'm also on Instagram. If you guys want to follow me there as well, I don't even have 200 followers yet. But there you guys have it. This sexy beast of a karaoke machine can run Call of Duty as well as any other mobile game you want, especially your console. Console, so give it a try and let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.